Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're having a quick look at the Audi RS6. This is the C5 platform. Uh, we, this is a, a video for kind of the uh, the basic end of the scale if you like. If you're, uh, if you're used to doing a lot of work on your, uh, on your RS6 this video won't really be for you. Uh, but if you're fairly new to the world of RS6s what we're going to do is give you a quick uh, guide around the engine bay and show you where some of the kind of key components are. So if you want to start doing a little bit of DIY work here and there on your car, uh, this might be a, a, an ideal starting place. So let's take a look. Okay, okay so let's start at the back of the engine. Uh, we've removed the, uh, the scuttle tray. Uh, if you're unsure how to do that, we've filmed a video on that already. And you can uh, go and check that out. There'll be a link for you below this video on YouTube. Uh, but under the scuttle tray, uh, this is your pollen filter in the, uh, the rear corner here. Uh, this is your coolant expansion tank, it's obviously where you uh, um, top up your, uh, your coolant right there. Uh, it's your brake fluid reservoir, um, again essential if you're doing any work on, uh, on, on the brakes, you need to rewind them, anything of that nature. Uh, this uh, box over in this corner here, this is for your uh, main engine ECU, that's kind of the, the brain of the engine if you like. And there's a big ECU unit sat within that box and a lot of the uh, electrical connections and the wiring that goes off all around the engine uh, comes through the, kind of this brain effectively. Uh, so that's where that is. Uh, you've got your air, uh, air con system, uh, just actually. Uh, the air con um, uh, filler and bleeds are actually in here. You can kind of follow those through the wall and you've got the uh, air con containers and things down there. Just below that, in the uh, bottom uh, corner there, you just see the uh, tops of the intercoolers. Uh, on the RS6, these can be one of the uh, kind of common um, uh, common items that do tend to go faulty. Uh, unlike some intercoolers, these are uh, air rather than um, fluid filled. So it's a little bit harder uh, if you've got something like an Audi S4 where they're filled with coolant. Uh, if you get a leak, you tend to spot it very easily. So you get the kind of red G12 coolant uh, stains that have kind of where it's dripped down the sides. So it's easy to locate the leak. It's a lot harder on these uh, because they are air filled. Um, obviously, you've got the, uh, the hoses that come off of the um, intercoolers there as well. Uh, those very often perish, so it's worth keeping an eye on those. Uh, moving up, we have uh, we have the um, this is for the uh, main air intake. Obviously, we have one of these on on both sides. Uh, on the RS6, we have two uh, air intakes, and so we have two uh, air filters, and that's what we can see in this central unit here. There's one air filter that sits uh, underneath there, and the second air filter sits underneath there as well. We'll be producing a video for you on, on how to change your air filters as a little DIY job, so keep an eye out for that one as well. Uh, if you'd want to look down below the uh, down right in here, these are the uh, the coil packs and you see the coil pack uh, connector uh, just above it there. You've basically got a row of four connectors, obviously four per side, this is a V8 engine, and the coil pack attaches to the uh, top of your spark plugs. Uh, so if you're looking at doing spark plug changes, um, and obviously uh, you've got to gain access to, to these coil packs, these coil packs will need to be removed to gain access to the spark plugs. Uh, so that's that. Uh, let's carry on moving across. What else have we got? What else have we got? Okay, on this side, uh, this is your uh, ABS pump, your main unit right here. Um, there's a, again, we'll be do, producing a video on uh, how to remove this, uh, should you need to. And obviously next to this, you'll be uh, familiar with this one. Uh, this is your uh, washer fluid. Uh, that's your main tank. And uh, this is your power steering fluid uh, right here as well. And these usually, I'm sure this one, they usually have a little dipstick on them. Yeah, a little dipstick on there so you can kind of uh, check that the, uh, the levels are maintained. Uh, so that's a few of your kind of major uh, engine components as we kind of uh, gone around the engine bay. Hopefully that's uh, nice and easy for you. Um, if you've, uh, yeah, like I say, if you're quite new. Uh, of course the other thing we've got uh, tucked away down the side here, my colleagues uh, just uh, pointed out to me of course, is your... Um, uh, your dipstick right there for checking your your oil level as well. Uh, oh, another another thing that you, um, if you're looking at doing DIY work, and if you've worked on Audis and things before, um, you'll be going, where's the where's the cap for the uh, for the oil filter? You know, if you've got things like uh, the Audi S4, it's kind of tucked away at the back. The same on the A6, actually. It's tucked away at the back here normally. Because we've got such a, a big engine, there's no kind of space for it uh, up around the back. So it's actually kind of down on the side. You have to kind of get at it through one of the um, uh, wheel arches. A little bit awkward uh, on the uh, on the RS6, uh, but that's where the, the oil filter is on these as well. 
Um, so hopefully that's given you a little bit of uh, information. Hopefully that's useful for some of you guys. Like I said, all these bits that we've uh, just covered here, we're going to be doing uh, videos on the removal of the vast majority of this stuff. So do keep an eye out on our channel, check that out. And uh, hopefully we can uh, help you guys out in the future. So uh, thanks for your support and keep on watching.